What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D. Too Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another bang of the day, guys, on a very, very jam-packed week of will you sleep or will you keep? Let ride. <laughs> pop things off right off this week we have another full-fledged dunk week man we got right off the rip dropping tomorrow the nike dunk low free 99 now these are actually on the sneakers app as we speak right now and free 99 why would you even call that free 99 nike you know damn well we ain't getting nothing we getting free le 99 straight l's free l's okay stop calling stuff no no w's t-shirts with the or no l's with the with, you know y'all just stop it stop the cap Okay, stop the cat. Free 99, but overall, these aren't really special to me. They're just a dunk at this point. I mean, dunks, I love dunks, don't get me wrong, but it's, this shoe just looks, it's, it looks like chalk that I used to, you know, play hopscotch. Well, I never played hopscotch, but where the girls were playing hopscotch back in kindergarten, it looks like the colors that were used to make the boxes in that shoe. Nothing with free 99, in my opinion. The retail on these are $110, and they will be releasing tomorrow on the sneakers app. Then we have releasing on the 10th, another Nike Dunk Low. Now, these are said to be released only in in grade school sizes. The price point is $70 and it gives me somewhat of a like a reverse Tiffany Dunk or like an alternate Tiffany Dunk type of colorway going on with it. But that's pretty much about it. This is a grade school, so it'll be more so for kids and for the ladies. I didn't see this at all in a men's size releasing, so it's automatic L season for us at the end of the day. But at the same time, this one really didn't catch my eye, but it's worth talking about. And then also on the 10th, we have a women's Nike Dunk Low Sunset, or is it called Sunset Pulse? Retailing at $110, and this looks like a Glitter Glams, Mismatch, Patty Whack, Give a Dog a Bone, I don't know, Skippity Doo Die Day. It's just all over the place. For the ladies out there, maybe y'all like it, maybe y'all don't. Me personally, I just don't like the shoe. I look at shoes unisex when I look at them, trust me. Believe it or not, even if it's a women's shoe, like I can still think it looks good for a lady just like women's perfume smells good but i'm not gonna put it on and women you know probably think cologne smells good but they're not gonna put it on i think this is a good looking shoe well not my bad. i don't i don't think this is a good looking shoe even though it's not meant for me like if i saw it on a woman's foot i'd be like the hell are those you know what i'm saying it just too much going on it's a it looks like a shoe that i would rock once again in kindergarten or something like that but right about now nah it's a pass for me but Releasing on the 10th at 110, the Nike Dunk Low Sunset Pulse. It don't need no pulse. We have also releasing on the 10th a Reebok Question Low Pure Gray. Now the Pure Gray Low is looking fabulous in my opinion. It has a patent leather effect on it. I have the oatmeals, I have the green joints now. Salutes to Reebok for both of those blessings. And these are definitely something dope to add into the collection if you are loving the Reebok Question Lows. And I'm definitely loving them. It looks like a great shoe to rock, whether mid or low. So Reebok, keep doing your thug dizzle. Salutes to y'all. I appreciate all the love and support from Reebok, from John. These are releasing on the 10th at a retail price one of $120. And then when it comes to quality, you're getting it. Coming to craftsmanship, you're getting it. And it comes to nostalgia, you get it. You get all the above for $120. And I think 150 to 160 on the mid side. But these overall, cool, clean. You know what I'm saying? If you need something very neutral for the summer, hey, why not? You know, coffee. And then on the 11th, we have Adidas drop in the Human Race. Now this is in the orange colorway. We've seen a couple of YouTubers out there. I think uh, Kais I saw. I think I saw Sniper Jones. I think I saw maybe Cousteau. Probably Cousteau. You can bet your money on it. I think Hess also. A couple of guys out there got this cubed box and it featured this orange Human Race. I like the Human Human race overall the solid ones I'm not really big fans of however I did get a pair of all black ones over there and that was the package yeah I remember me saying recently how sometimes the will send me something and then I'll get something totally different like I'm on a different like seating type of thing like they got all those and then I got this bag here and not everybody got that bag that bag had like that cool Adidas jacket it had the, the zip ups it had a couple of different things that when I go when I, I'm going camping soon once I get my four Bronco I'm going camping I'm going on journeys and I'm bringing you guys along but I got the full fledged travel kit right there. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. But dope. I love the all black ones. The orange ones, they're nice. But I'm just not a monochrome, monotone, wearing type of guy. Like, it's just too much. But, I, you know, orange is me. Tony the Tiger, it's my type of vibe. I like it. I would get it. I would rock it. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know. 
mixed emotions. We have also releasing on the 10th, a little rewind back, the I'm My Mind Year is dropping on Sneakers app as a full size, like a full thing now. And honestly, I might go ahead and cop this shoe. Like I still like it. Like this shoe played out like how the Jordan 6 social statuses were, where they dropped on like All-Star Weekend and like sold out or whatever, it's exclusive, but then came out later on and they ended up sitting on shelves and going for below retail. So I'm My Mind Year also owned by, you know, owned by social status or is one of the other same owners same un umbrella right I'm starting to wonder if I'm, this three was really like as limited as it seemed but like I don't know it just it dropped it seemed like it, it did some hype but then you could see the numbers were also not going up so it was like a false a false hype behind this shoe me personally though I like the shoe so I would not mind getting the shoe so I'm looking forward to seeing it and it's a possibility that I will more than likely try to grab it I love the mocha you know threes this is kind of like this but also it's a shoe store my on my manier that's representing Atlanta it's in Atlanta has the A on it Maybe, maybe maybe it's the time to you know pull the trigger. It is what it is. And then we got here. My phone just fell off. But we got the Yeezy 700 uh, Inflame Amber. We talked about this one recently. It's like a Yeezy Wave Runner, but in a tan type of colorway. So it has a little bit of funk to it. Retail is $240. I think overall it's a cool colorway. I wouldn't mind adding this one to the collection. If I don't sleep, I'll like literally sleep. Like if I wake up, I will definitely try to get this shoe. But when it comes to releases on the weekend nowadays, bro, I haven't woken up for a sneaker release in about a couple of months now. I just given up. It is what it is. I've given up. I need to get that force back into me. I know. But it just it, it is what it is. It looks like doo-doo though. Like a doo-doo shit top on the upper and then like a little, little bit of a orangutan nut sack splurge coming on the bottom midsole. So it's a little bit something something going on with uh yeah, releasing on the 11th. Then we have releasing on the 12th, the Jordan 1 Fusion Red, McDonald's, Atlanta Hawks, whatever you want to call it. The review for this will be coming out more than likely tomorrow. I'm going to try to get this out tomorrow. Wednesday, take a day off to shoot some more stuff, then drop a video on Thursday. The, the week's jam-packed, so stay tuned on that. Fusion Red, I told you guys my thoughts and opinions, my initial thoughts and opinions. Literally, after getting done with this, I'm going to do the full on in-depth review on this to drop for you guys and girls out there. And I'm loving this shoe. Keeping it staying in my collection for quite some time so it is what it is it's definitely a pee popper a pussy popper pussy popping on the handstand back at it like a crack at it you've been waiting for me to say that right well there you go that shoe right there Definitely one of my favorite Jordan 1s that released this year. Probably my the favorite Jordan 1 release of this year so far. Not to say that those patent leather breads are going to not be it. Those might take the take the bait. But right now, these are just clean, bro. And it's releasing on the 12th, a couple days before my birthday, June 15th. So why not? Speaking of patent leather breads, we have an image of it, not official images, but actual images on feet of the actual shoe that is set to release on the 23rd. Patent leather bread release pictures, elite pictures, are now hitting the surface and they're looking quite splendid in my opinion. I'm liking them, looking like a patty, patty melt, like a trash can, you know, the basuda shine to it, you know what I'm saying, but real clean and cleansed. And uh, we just said Bulls and Mike Richards at the same time. Let's combine them together like some Gogeta shit. But they have a nice look to them. I'm happy that they're doing it this way rather than like a shattered backboard where they look like it's all crumbled up and stuff so you know it is what it is it's clean now let's get to the meat and potatoes of today's show we have some images we have some shoes we have leaked news of upcoming 2022 sneaker releases already halfway through the year we already getting an idea what's releasing in the springtime now i got my hand right here on this and i want to break down some of the images one off the rip we have that jordan 6 that has the unc it's the like inspired tag on the back. UNC Jordan 6, it looks good. Reminds me of the Jordan 6 Championship PE or, damn, my coffee be making me burp, bro. Coffee makes me burp for some reason when I talk a lot. And it's annoying. Back to the video. But like we have here a Jordan 6 UNC releasing. Okay, it looks very good. The images recently just leaked. I know a lot of people were talking about it. These look fabulous. Most of these are said to be releasing in spring, so be on the lookout. Next up, we have a Jordan 11 Low. Now, this Jordan 11 Low, to me, looks exactly, looks like a Jordan 11 Low 72 and 10. Now, I don't know if that's the name they're giving it, but I'm giving it that name, the Jordan 11 Low 72 and 10. Seems to be like a shoe also releasing in spring of 2021. 72 and 10 was a very good quality shoe. The only difference here compared to this one and that one is that the upper is not leather, but it looks suede. And then we have that leather pattern on top, that effect that the 72 and 10 gave. We had that there with that cream bottom and then white midsole. So it looks like the upper portion of a um, cap and gown with a patent leather version of the 72 and 10 and then the midsole and the outsole kind of of a 72 and 10. Then we follow up with a Jordan 13 yellow. It's like a yellow joint. It's white and yellow. I don't know if this is like a PE for someone, more than likely a PE, Gary Payton or something. I don't know, but some sort of PE. It has to be some sort of PE, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a white and yellow, but I would think that somebody wore this 
on the court and with time we'll figure that out time will tell then we have a shoe we've been looking for for quite some time i've had the original release or i had the release in 2015 it has yet to be it's been rumored over and over to re-release but it hasn't but the low version is releasing and that is the jordan 12 low taxi we have not seen a jordan 12 well let me take that back we've seen a jordan 12 low this year for the february 12th february 13th whatever the super bowl but the jordan 12 taxi i believe it's came up before i highly believe it's came up before we haven't seen it in quite some time, and I don't know if I would cop this or not. It might be a pass for me, in all honesty. But it is what it is. I mean, it's cool. You guys are getting some form of the taxi, not the high, but a low. So be on the lookout. There is some version of a 12 that's dropping later this year, but it's not the Jordan 12 that everybody's looking for. So it's a little bit of a bummer. Then we have some ones here. We have a Jordan 1 that looks like a Jordan 1 Royal. Hearing that they're doing the 85 high version of that one. So we'll have to wait and see as more information drops. There's also a Jordan 1 that looks like a Lakers. Pretty cool. Definitely something. Than I would cop and then seems like another Jordan 1 shadow or reverse shadow or shadow 3.0 something that looks like a shadow it's white black and gray I could be wrong but it is what it is there's two question marks for two sevens that are supposed to be releasing this information is all brought to you by sneaker news who shot to them a Jordan 3 that kind of looks like a Jordan 3 fusion red if you ask me it got very similar color patterns of it it's like red yellow and white Jordan 3 looks good to me looks more like a Atlanta Hawks McDonald's colorway than this fusion red. It looks a little bit more darker in my opinion. We have a Jordan 5 low. I don't know what you could call these. These look some Supremes or something. Uh, who knows? A Jordan 15 in all cream. I like those. I love 15. I love them. Y'all hate them. I love them. And then a Jordan 6 low and a cream and like teal. It reminds me a lot of something that probably be like a women's exclusive or women, yeah, something of like a women type, you know, shoe. So we have a little bit of a preview of some upcoming Jordan 2022 shoes, a uh, spring. And in, in all honesty, there's a couple of cool kicks there, honestly, but nothing like extraordinary, as I would say, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah, I'm not too hyped. I'm not getting hyped about that. I'm still hyped about now. I'm not looking toward now. I mean, we still got Lightning Fours dropping, Cool Gray supposedly dropping this year, Patent Breads that we just talked about. We got a lot of stuff, and this year is shaping up to be a A1 steak sauce year. So stay tuned, because I'm looking forward to it, and I know you guys are as well. But guys, I appreciate y'all as always. Hit that like button, subscribe down below to this channel as well as my secondary channel. Stay tuned, because I got some giveaways coming soon as well. I'm going to be doing a giveaway with, with Pure Sticker Cleaner very soon, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Hit that like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new and shout out to everyone who caught the green sample hat as we are almost pretty much sold out by the time this video goes we might be having like one or two left or sold out completely i love y'all i appreciate y'all and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one man it's your boy 20d2 wild i'm checking in i'm checking out